the last tutorial I showed you how to make multiple buttons. And if I click on the buttons, the appropriate square moves. My mouse is a plain white, white arrow, but let's say I want a more animated arrow. I want a better um, look for my cursor. You can change the way your cursor looks. So let's check that out. If I go to insert new symbol, so I'm adding something new. So insert new symbol. Um, in this case, I want it to be a movie clip. And I'm just going to call it arrow. Uh, arrow 2. I, I already have an arrow in there, but I need to show you how to make it. So my whole screen just cleared because I have a chance to make my arrow. And I'm going to keep it really simple. So I'm going to use a line. I changed my mind. I'm going to use a paintbrush. And I'm going to use this little registration symbol. I want to stay below it. And I want to stay to the right of that. So I'm, I'm going to be, that's on top of it. I don't want to be on top of it. Um, it's like I don't want to be touching the registration symbol, but I want to be pointing right at it. So there, that's, this is the area where it's going to click on the button. So I want to be below it and kind of to the right of it. And then every five frames, I just want to change the color of this arrow. So now um, I want this arrow to be like a blue. And then every 10 frames, I'll change it to a dark green. Do it again. Maybe like a purple. One more time. Maybe like an orange. So this is my custom arrow. It's just going to blink like this, different colors. And I want to go back to my scene. So I'm going to go ahead and click on this arrow. It takes me back, but my arrow is not on here because it's in my library. So um, I'm going to go ahead, add a new layer. Let's call this cursor. I'm on frame one of this brand new layer that I added. And I need to go to my library. Now I have my library. It's right here. But just in case you don't have your library, you can go to window look for your library, which will open that up. And I'm going to drag so I'm on this cursor layer. I just want to check one more time on frame one. So my playhead's on frame one. I want to drag my cursor anywhere onto the screen. It doesn't matter. It's also really big. So I'm going to make it smaller. The other thing I'm going to do is go to the properties box. So that's this tab right here. Or if you need to, you can go to window properties to make sure that that panel is open. And I'm going to give it a name. Let's call it arrow. Real clever. And so now that I have that named, I need code. So in the description, um, well, I'm going to go ahead and open up my actions panel. And in the link description, I have this code. It's just two lines. Just use two lines right here. Paste them in there. And then this needs to match whatever I just called that arrow. So I'm going to call I named it arrow, so I need to put arrow there. Now if I play it, I test my movie. I have this cursor that is a custom cursor. And if I click on red, the red box moves. If I click on green, blue, and orange. So my cursor is working, and that's how you get it to work. So you need buttons that actually work. So you want to make sure they work before you add this in. You add a movie clip so that this is blinking. And then you go ahead and put in your code.